Hi, this is Marshall Wright with Decker Wright Corporation, and today I'm going to show you how to send an encrypted email through uh, Proofpoint and Microsoft Outlook. Uh, we're going to show you how to send it, and then we'll show you what it looks like on the receiver's end and how they can print it. All right, so the first thing we're going to need to do is create a new email message. And we're going to send that to mhw at verizon.net. We're going to call this test message 4. And I've already typed up some language for it here. And the most important thing about this is the word encrypt. You must include the word encrypt in square brackets, either a lowercase with an uppercase E encrypt or all capitalized encrypt. Notice I spelled it wrong here, so I'm going to go fix that right away. We'll make this an R-Y for encrypt. Now we're going to send that email out. And again, square brackets, encrypt, either in the body, or you could put it up in the subject line. We're going to send that. The next thing that will happen is you'll get a re reply back from Proofpoint that says, hey, I've redirected this email, and it's now going to the encryption portal so that the recipient will find it there. So we'll wait for that message to come in so I can show you what that looks like. Uh, here's the message. And it says message encrypted and it sent it over to the encryption portal. All right, we'll close that. Now I'm going to go over. Uh, this, this would be the, uh, the account that I'm emailing to. Okay, on behalf of MHW, here's test message. This is number three. Uh, to save time, we'll show you what test message 3 looks like. The messages are identical. So we're going to open that message up. Uh, in here it says, view the encrypted email. It's going to ask me to log in. First time it'll ask me to set a password. Once I've set the password, I can just log in. <laughs> and again, this is for the recipient. Now we'll go in. You can see test message 4, the one that we just sent, actually just did come in. So we'll take a look at that email message. Here's the message that we sent. Now I'm going to print it. So I'm going to go up to print, print preview. Now it doesn't show the actual text of the email at this point. We have to make some changes in how this thing displays in order for us to get the email picture to fit right. So we're going to change the shrink to fit to 60%. And you'll notice the email message then appears in this right-hand pane. Now we can print it. And we'll, we will have the email printed out so that we can uh, add it to our files. That's it. That's how easy it is to send an encrypted email and how easy it is to print one. If you have any questions, reach us at help at Thanks.